everybody how you doing Ruben Texas all water fish I'm here today with Christopher What's up? Christopher and I came out to scout another area for saltwater so shore patrol yep. so let, let's let's see what we have going on over here some, so some trash yellow so, is that a box? Oh god. Yeah, that's a big ant pile. God. This is this is oh god. some trash. Not really not really what I'll call a cleanup trash. Hey, there's a shell. There's a shell. Some trash some over here. Pan, some iron. Trash in here trash over there you see these trays right here these are chicken trays look like fiesta store what a lot of people do what a lot of people do is that they go crabbing right and they'll bring these trays with chicken parts chicken legs chicken thighs chicken necks and they will leave the tray behind and what happens is that those trays get in the water system birds turtles other sea life, fish, because the trays will break down over time, and that little foam, the birds and the wildlife will eat those trays thinking it's food, <clears throat> or just out of curiosity, and they'll end up dying. So if you come out, yeah, bring the, hold on to that. Look at that. Let me see, turn around. That is a killer right there, that line. Somebody left a spool on the ground. Chris was going to pick that up. But if you leave the those meat trays behind you know you're gonna kill wildlife so take your take your trash with you this look at all oh. this trash is just all in here where did that scrap metal come from yeah it's all this trash who does this I mean, like lazy lazy people Lazy people who don't have any respect for anything. Please, 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 please do not throw trash. Because this happens and then fish eat it. And then they choke and die. This makes me so sad. This is, say this is your fishing spot, Christopher. And you don't make trash, right? Uh-huh. You, you're a good person. This is your fishing spot. You take all the trash with you. You take everything with you back home. And then you got jerks that come out and leave all their trash behind. The city gets sick of it. So the city closes your fishing spot. Says no parking, no trespassing, keep out. And then you cannot, you never could come back to your fishing spot again because of jerks. So not only are they destroying wildlife, but they're destroying your fishing spot. They're taking away from where your dad may have brought you, your grandpa may have brought you, where you want to bring your kids one day to your fishing spot because of laziness. How would that make you feel? Mad. You're mad, very mad, right? Because they're destroying the environment. They're taking away your future, your tradition. Don't be any fish left. Stay back, okay? Now there's trash all in here, all the way down. It gets blown down, it gets blown in. You can hear the crunching. Look, you hear that? Yeah. That's trash underneath it. You hear the crunching? There's trash and layers of trash. Look, right here. The grass overgrows. You think there's nothing there, but in reality, there is there's water. trash. It gets all overgrown, and so you'll have layers and layers of trash. It's not the worst I've seen. This is a semi cleanup right here. You can get in here, probably clean this up pretty quick with a crew of 10 or 15 people. <clears throat> probably like maybe a couple hours, an hour and a half. Just what did I say about the chicken? Chicken, 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 chicken. Chicken, 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 more chicken. Chicken foam trays. Chicken foam trays. Chicken foam trays. Take your crap with you, bro. Take it with you.
Whoa. You see that? That's a that's a chicken wire. Chicken line. Right wow. there. So I left it in there. Catch a crab. Crab line. We're gonna take this one with us. We don't leave a line behind. Those birds are gonna die. They're gonna get stuck in it and they can't get out. I personally, you know what? I like to see the game warden come back in here and run these people off that ain't got no fishing licenses, that don't have any fishing licenses. Write some tickets and let's end this crap already. Look at that. Straw. McDonald's straw. We hate McDonald's straws. All right. So we're going to go across the street. You know, and we're right here at Harbor Walk Drive. I believe it's called Harbor Walk Drive. I know I put my kayak in here before, other people put their kayaks in here before. Obviously, pretty popular spot to bank fish and go crabbing. So, we're gonna walk to the other side. I know it's pretty muddy. I really don't think that anybody will fish or bank fish on the other side, but we're gonna walk over there and take a look. Sorry. Yeah, we just wanna check it out. Going to drop this off at the truck. Just put it right there on the cur on the on the tailgate. Yeah, see, see how muddy this is. I didn't think anybody would bank fish over here. Yeah. A little bit of trash, but not as not much. like we saw over there. Watch your step. Yeah, look at this. Foam trays, right? Uh -huh. Foam trays, foam trays. This trash over here is just blown, wind blown from the other side. But nevertheless, there's still trash here somebody put all their trash in a trash bag look at this somebody put all their trash in a trash bag and then left it why do I don't understand why do we even put it in a trash bag I don't understand that I mean I this that's pretty dumb you put all your trash in a trash bag and then you leave it stay off my shoreline oh. not gonna take your trash with you keep your butt at home you people cross the line as an eight-year-old, he's fed up too. We're, all, we're fed up with all this trash, all this mess. Sooner or later, all oceans, all lakes, and all rivers will be full with trash and, and no fish can survive. So that's pretty much it. That's a that's us doing a quick scout. The other day I was with Billy Ray from Saltwater Soul, Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol, and we received a phone call from a fellow kayaker, fellow angler, and he was telling us about this area and this spot and how dirty and how trashed it was. So I wanted to come out and take a look. It's called scouting. Came out and scout the shoreline. Put that on the list of potential cleanups. I know we have a couple cleanups already in mind we haven't scheduled a date yet in which we're going to do the next cleanup if you know any areas or any other spots out there that are in dire need of a cleanup shoot us an email send us some pictures we'll come out we'll scout the area we'll let you know hopefully we'll be able to get some footage like today and put it out there myself christopher very disgusted as always but check out the channel hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already follow saltwater soul shore patrol instagram Follow Texas All Water Fishing, Instagram and Facebook. Get on the mailing list if you want to be part of a short cleanup. I will send you the information and the events as we book and schedule them. Don't forget to be part of the solution and not the problem. Hopefully next time you catch me either hooking up or cleaning up.